Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Block Hoarder. This is episode 66 of this Let's Play series, and my farm animals are being very noisy. I'm gonna get away from them and sleep. But yes, episode 66. What will we do today? I don't know yet. I have not decided. We will eat some melon, though. I think maybe... Hmm. I kind of really do want cats, even though they're gonna be stupid. I don't know. Hey, look at that. Let's go kill him. Put him out of his misery. Mine. Or not. Oh, no, I did kill him because I got the experience. So, yeah. I mean, I could keep working on this for, like, ten episodes and it wouldn't be done. But I'd kind of like to break things up a bit. I do think I maybe should finish up part of this upper floor, though. Not all of it, but... At least figure out how I'm going to handle the windows. I think we'll just have it be like the downstairs to start off. So, window, window, not window. Window, window, not window. It's kind of hard to see this. Window, window, not window. There we go. Okay, and that way I can put some lights up. I'll just do the two edges for now, I guess. Because that seems like a thing that works, and it will at least light up... Oh, wait, that's the wrong spot. Stupid. Stupid logs. Messing me up. Through no fault of my own, obviously. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's kind of bugging me. There. Now, slightly less of this area will be spawning mobs. Slightly. Oop. Went down the wrong way, but it worked. Okay, I think maybe we will go in the nether today, work on that a bit. I don't know, we kind of need cobble for that, so maybe I'll go caving first. In which case, I definitely don't need all this junk for caves. Like, we don't need stairs, we don't need stone, don't need arrows, don't need sticks. We well, do need sticks, just in torch form. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good caving setup, except we definitely don't need that many swords. And then the question that uh, needs answered is, what cave do we go in? Answer to that is no clue. Dang, I don't have any cobble, so I can't make pickaxes yet. Ah, well. I'm going to go ahead and make one of these, because I already know I'm going to need one at some point in the caving experience. I think I know what I'll do, though. Uh, I think it was in the last episode I actually started fixing this up as kind of an excuse to get some cobble. So why not continue that and actually turn this into something usable? It won't be anything great, but it should be fine. Anyway, so hopefully there'll be a snapshot tomorrow with some new stuff. I haven't heard anything. Dinnerbone basically hasn't tweeted since the last snapshot came out, except for some jokes about the whole YouTube buying Twitch thing. So no clue what's going on there, but we can always hope that means that he's been working hard on something awesome and just doesn't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, or he's just been bug fixing and it has nothing to talk about. Either one works for me though. Ooh, there is a zombie nearby. Wonder where. Here lava. I think that's the lava I searched for before though. I don't think it's anything new. Let's hope we run into a cave with some diamonds, though. We are at Y6, so we are well within diamond country. We could run into one at any block break. Like I said, I was going to need one of these. It's like I'm psychic or something. There we go. Onwards! Oh. Wait a second, I can't see how long I've been recording. I have to move the window slightly. There we go. Four and a half minutes. How nice. But anyway, I have a bit of news, something I'm thinking about doing. Is I might cut Block Order back to two episodes a week and then replace these Wednesday episodes with uh, other Minecraft videos. Like maybe I'll do a Skyblock series or some mods or one off videos, kind of like I've started doing in Kerbal Space Program. But I'm thinking about that, no decision yet, but 
this series doesn't get all that many views or comments or likes or anything right now so I don't think anyone will really care if I cut it back until things pick up but if you do care then uh, tell me because don't hear much from whoever watches these videos um... didn't run anything into anything that way we'll head this way kinda like a crappy tunnel version of branch mining that is more about gathering cobble than actually finding ore but I kinda like killing two birds with one stone so if you're going to mine cobble you might as well work on a tunnel and if you're going to build a tunnel for cobble you might as well do it at diamond level so that you can find more resources so I guess that's more like three birds with one stone Ooh, spooky noise so scary so very scary okay I, I kinda really wanna find that lava but I feel like I already found it before sounds so close though is it this way? it's gonna drop on my head probably oh Yep, yep. I was right. Probably did already find it. I've got a hole right up here. I don't see how I could have gone in there and not found it. Let's go ahead and place... Oh, we got a torch there, so... Yep. Already found it, so... That was a waste of two seconds. Whatever. Well, ooh, bouncy. I think I'll just head this way a bit, and if we don't find any cave or diamond or anything of interest... Oh, well that's kind of interesting, except I don't think I have an iron pickaxe with me, so... Bad planning on my part. Hey! Hey! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's like a defense. But yeah, in retrospect, I should have brought that. Dang it. But these are problems that we can solve. And it'll be useful to have this down here anyway, so let's... Ooh, that's really slow. It really is. Okay, so we need three. It goes in the top one, right? I can never remember which one it goes in. And I'm pretty sure there's a joke in that. Oh, uh, okay. On the plus side, we've already got a ton of cobble and we've oh what am I doing misclick and around we go yeah I won't do much more of this then we'll get started on whatever else I was going to do alright I was going to work in the oops I was going to work in the nether that is what this cobble is for. It's not for paths. Won't really do all that much. Oh, well, that block was flying around kind of weird. If you saw that. What the heck is with all the redstone? It's trolling me. It knows I don't have a pickaxe to mine it. And that I used up a lot of my redstone earlier, so I actually kind of could use it. Let's take some of that. We'll leave some down here in case I ever need it. Planning ahead is what that's called. Um, right. Uh, right here. There we go. Let's take care of this roadblock. Perfect. That's all that's really necessary. I think that this is enough, though. Oh, that's so slow. I'll just light these up so I never run into any creepers or anything when I come down here. Because that would be bad, and now let's head back up. And up we go. Still don't remember what I did that tunnel for. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Okay. So, nether time. I'll just bring everything I have in the nether, I don't care. It's not really that valuable. We have 
a little over three stacks of cobble. That's enough to do something with. Maybe we'll even head out to the ice spikes biome. Did I just hear a magma cube? That was very laggy. I guess not, because I don't see him. Hello. Hello, good sir. Yeah. He's not very interesting. Okay, so... Looks like we had finished this first bit. Well, not finished, but... It's within acceptable safety standards for our current level of development. In the future, we will want ceilings and stuff. Hello. Come and get some sword in your face. There we go. Yep, one dead, two dead. I don't, I don't need to use that, do I? Take two hits. It's nothing. Okay. So that is going to be an issue at some point. Yay, a crash! That was relatively early in the episode this time. Let's continue on. Looks like we got some sort of magma cube situation. Okay. Magma cube, something appears to be wrong with you. Is this the one I fought earlier, or a different one? I don't know if I got sent back in time or not. I was standing pretty much where I was before, so it might not have been a new one. For some reason I'm getting a bit of lag, it might just be loading chunks still. Might have been what crashed us in the first place. Anyway, so this is a bit dangerous having this here, but I'm going to leave it. Our main concern is getting knocked off and gas shooting at us. The other mobs, they aren't as big of a deal, because they're less likely to destroy all my items one way or another. So let's go ahead and finish this up, because once this is finished, we will be able to more uh, safely and quickly travel from the main base to the Ice Spikes outpost, which we can use for maybe some more mining and etc. Look at that. Swimming in the lava. I wish I could swim in the lava, but I don't to know the potion ingredients or have any real reason to do so except just to say that I did okay there we go dang I guess I should have brought my uh, axe I didn't know this was here let's get rid of it and great I was hoping there wouldn't be a huge section like this because I do not think we have enough blocks. Nonetheless, we will make the nether as safe as it can be using our current resources. Oh no. See, this is exactly why we want this. To keep those ghasts from seeing us as often. Because all the ones that are down there will no longer be able to see me. Once this wall is complete... Oh no. Hmm. Gotta make sure nothing sneaks up behind me either. Okay, well we're gonna finish this side it looks like. This is the side that got me killed that one time. Where I got stuck in the block and then kicked off the donkey into the lava. That was just conveniently placed right where I fell and only there. I'm still angry about that. Oh man. Okay, and uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Looks like I was originally going to have this trail be three wide. Hmm. I guess I'll do that, but it's going to have to switch at some point. Oh, didn't mean... Man, I am not clicking well today. I do have kind of a headache, so... There's that. Okay, that feels a bit safer now. And this is also what killed me. This is what I, part of what I got stuck in. So we're just gonna get rid of this right now and never worry about that again. Heck, let's go ahead and do this. Because I said so. There we go. Perfection. I kind of want to get rid of that, but it's not going to be an issue once we get this area properly protected. So I guess I won't. 
let's just put the rest of these to good use on widening this because if it is three wide I'm less likely to accidentally fall so it is useful there we go okay that's all my cobble dang I need so much cobble let's go out to the ice box bomb I mean we're already halfway there anyway so might as well check it out I think I left some resources out there maybe I left some cobble out there or some diorite or something that I can move into uh oh baby uh, baby um, pig zombie for some reason I was trying to say like ender pig or something this isn't even the end Oh, we are going to have to go to the end someday, aren't we? I should probably get working on some way to find the stronghold, actually. The amount of times I've done this sort of stuff, like, legitimately in survival is, like, very low. If ever. So, yeah. Because I mostly stopped playing single player before all this stuff came out, so I've been on servers and there's always the temptation to cheat. At least on the servers I've been on. Or just play on the creative worlds. Or somebody else does the stuff before you ever get the chance. I forgot about this thing. I like it. I do not like the snow on it though. Shouldn't the torches be preventing that? Annoying. Oh well. So what's in the chest? Oh, holy crap. Wow. I was right about a lot of this stuff. I have gravel, diorite, andesite, gunpowder, redstone, my stone hoe that I couldn't find. It explains a lot. This is where I kept the donkey because he was being an idiot. I'm going to fill this in. It is unnecessary and might be a mob risk. I don't know. Mobs! Okay. Alright, I had put in a partial stair system, but I didn't have enough time or effort or something to actually finish it. So that's cool. Oh, I ran out of dirt, I guess. That would be the typical situation for me. Hello, zombie. Don't mind me. I'm just making a small amount of progress on my stair system. Has he seen me or not? I'm pretty sure he's seen me. He's just glitching on a corner. Works for me. I'll just go this way. I never really looked over here, did I? This is kind of interesting. Goes into a cave, doesn't it? I think maybe I did look in there and there's nothing to see. But maybe there is. I don't know. That was quite a while ago that I last came here. Oh yeah, it's nothing. This area does look interesting though. So maybe it can be the start of a new mining area. I've probably been under here in caves before because this was the direction that the ravines were coming in. But you never know. If nothing else, we should hopefully get some cobble and maybe some dirt. And we can get started on getting killed by zombies who sneak up behind me. No, but we can get started on uh, more projects. We can finish up those stairs that we had and work on the nether a bit more. And I can't see the time again. There we go. Okay. Oh man, I just realized my hard drive's almost full. Let's hope that doesn't become an issue. I still have that issue. I've been working around it for months now. But my hard drive just wasn't meant to hold hundreds of videos. Especially of Minecraft, which is well over a gigabyte for most episodes, sometimes two. Depends how much uh, walking I do, for the most part. Being in caves and stuff can reduce the size. The map itself doesn't take up barely any room. I think it's less than 100 megabytes, so that's good, at least. Oh man, we lost it. Well, that should be more than enough for the stairs. We didn't get any dirt, though. 
didn't run into any dirt patches. And daytime is coming. I guess I could have just slept in that bed, but I kind of don't want to reset my spawn over here. Because then if I die, I'd end up back over here. Which would be good if I was playing on staying, but I'm really not. I'm just here temporarily. We can't get up. Dang it. Oh, my God, that's annoying. There we go. Yep, really need to finish that. So let's do that. How many stairs do you think we need? It's two per row, and I'd say we need at least 16. So that's what we'll grab for now. Well, maybe not at least 16, but more than 12. I don't know. Oh, it's actually a pretty big way to go, so... Probably don't have enough, actually. Not that I can even really finish it without placing blocks. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's great. And whatever, I'll just waste... I'll waste my valuable, valuable iron on a netherrack. Yeah, not enough. Whatever. Oh, come on. I hate you stairs. There. Okay, so we need, um, let's see. Three more, I think. How am I going to get up here now? The long way. Or that way. That works too. Oh, it's so shaky. Um, right. So, six. Gotcha. And even if I'm off by one, which I don't think I am, I have enough. Ow. Oh, come on. It does drop down again, so that maybe I do need more. I was basing it off right there. But the ground just... Oh, I'm not used to that. I don't place stairs all that much. Yes, that one's correct. Thank you. Okay. And I guess I might as well use the last ones. Because why not? Ta-da! We can now go up here without it being such a big issue. Hooray! Well, this has been nice seeing this base again. We'll turn this into something cool. Probably have, like, this huge tower here. I imagine that would be pretty neat on top of a mountain. Someday when I have the uh, resources built up. But until then, let's head back in the nether and put whatever cobble we still have to good use. Oh, no, 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 don't go in there. I want to open my inventory. Okay, not much, but it'll do. Let's just keep running. Hmm, a lot of magma cubes today. It's interesting. I've always had trouble finding them before. And again, I guess it's more the drops that give me trouble. Because you kill a lot of them and they never drop anything. Except experience. And that is just annoying. Oh, some lag. Please don't crash again. I have enough pieces of episodes with all the editing I've been doing in my RuneScape series. Seriously, the video I edited today had like literally 15 pieces to it is getting very messy. Hello. You can just go away. Thank you. Is there another one? Oh, there's another two. Oh, right. Dang it. Oh, man. That would have been bad if I hadn't been holding shift. Luckily, I am very safety concerned, I guess. Okay, this works. Ooh, some lag again, and goodbye, sucker. Well, still, it might not be finished, but the safety levels in the nether have made another climb. And uh, this is dangerous, making me walk to the left when there's no wall. So get rid of that. And, oh, gosh, why? Guys. 
spawn right here. Holy cow. Good thing I ate. The problem with building... What the heck? So many blaze. Just so many. And in we go to the safety of this place. I need to go back and get the coordinates of the jungles portal. I forget what episode that was. I think it was near the end of the jungle series. And then we can use that to make a trail. Which I don't have the resources for. Where's that pig? I think I saw him over there. Don't know why I'm looking for him, to be honest. Yes, I hear you, Kadog. Jeez. The animals are very noisy today. When I logged in, like, all the sheep and cows made noise at the same time. It was very loud in my ears. Okay, dark oak. We're gonna use up all of our dark oak, I guess. Try to finish up a bit more. Okay, so... Two, and then... Yeah. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. There we go. You can go ahead and torch this all up. No reason to be stingy on the torches. We're trying to light this thing up to make it safe. I'm going to have to do it someday. Might as well be today. Okay, two, two, two. Okay. Torch, torch, torch. There we go. So now even more of this is lighted up. Lighted up? <laughs> Lit up. English. Yes, it is complicated. Okay, so from here on out... Hmm. How does this look? And then it's three wide. And then two, and it's really hard to see. I think that's correct though. So then we do that and that, I guess. I guess that works. We'll go ahead and take half of this dark oak for now. Okay, so a gap of three, right? No, wait. So we do three and then we do a gap of three and then we do two. Then we torch and torch. The pig! I saw that, he just jumped off the edge, like I did. It's a pig after my own heart. That should probably be a bad thing. Okay. Um, the inside. There we go. Okay, so we got a little consistency here. I think maybe we'll just do that. And have another three wide window there. That looks like a plan to me. There we go. This area should be uh, maybe not 100% mob safe right now, but like 90%. I don't know what the middle is going to be like at night. But I'm going to assume at least decent. So yay! That's enough of this. What else? What else? Hmm. I think uh, I want a cobble generator. For that, I'm going to need buckets of lava because I want to make it right. Uh, don't I have more buckets somewhere? You. Buckets. Yes, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, shut up. I'm going to go grab some lava. In the next episode, I will have... Uh, well, I won't have it, but I'll make it. Because I'm not going to have time to make it in this one, I believe. I believe the first crash happened at around 11 minutes. So it should be about the end of this episode, actually. Let's go in this here lava place. Um, there we go. Three lava. Because if you don't know, a cobble generator is made using lava touching water and it uh, makes cobble grow in the same spot every time 
but I want more than one lava because what I do is I make it out of obsidian and that way I don't have to worry about accidentally breaking what it's made out of and releasing the lava because that is an issue if you use something like stone so we got the supplies for that, but I'm going to end this episode here. So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.